All right, take number two. Okay, everybody, I'm going to disassemble the unit. I've set it in the uh, vise. You start with the cap and you work down. That's the way I did it to relieve the spring pressure. So in essence, first step is to remove the, uh, the cap. There we go. The cap comes off. Okay, and as you can see here, there's another cap or the adjustment along with a washer. So brass washer comes off. The next step is to loosen the brake nut like I just did there. So the brake nut is now loose. Let me make sure it's all in camera range. Sorry, I don't have a cameraman. Yeah. Then you unscrew the, uh, the cap. Just slowly go at it. You can feel it loosens up. There is no tension. And uh, off it comes. You can see there's another gasket, but there's a lock nut, the cap. On top of the cap or down below it, you see a uh, spring. And on top of the spring is a little washer, a washer. The uh, spring comes off next, and then <clears throat> you have uh, the uh, device. It's not a it's pin, it's, an, it's a linkage from the spring to hold pressure on the back of the, uh, the nozzle, and I'll show you that in a second. The uh, next step is to, in essence, put this in the vise, kind of uh, loose, not too terribly snug. Use an Allen wrench so it will stop as I attempt to uh, break it free. And uh, let's see, come on here with a wrench, and I'm going to probably need the bigger one. Yep, I'm going to need the bigger uh, wrench. Either that or get a hammer to tap. Let's see if this works here. I'll go get the bigger. I'll have to go get the hammer. Excuse me. Required. All it took was a little readjustment and force, but in essence, I use the Allen wrench to keep it from spinning in the uh, vise. Let me get, finish getting the cap off. This is down there where the sits on the uh, cylinder head. It gets warm and actually through some of the uh, the corrosion. And there, there it is. Uh, disassembled. Uh, gasket, the copper gasket, the cap that holds it on. If you take a look, here's the fuel injector and this one here stuck a little on the end, a little carbon build up, but it uh, moves freely. On these, uh, I've had a grand total of four, one of which was stuck dead and wouldn't output any spray at all. So let me loosen this up <clears throat> so you can get a Look here, there's not much wear on, on this side. This is another wearing surface because of the, uh, the nozzle. And uh, it's basically it. I'm going to get the others taken apart and then clean them in the ultrasonic cleaner. <laughs> 